H O slot cars it is. I'm Randy Kogi here, and I had I think I, I remember doing these two cars, like in a, sort of like a limbo, <laughs> chassis wise. <clears throat> this turns out to be an Auto World <clears throat> uh, magnet traction, not extraction, but a magnet traction type of. Uh, chassis you can see it's got the letters auto world but this one does have magnets very so it's very similar to the to the to the afx magnet traction uh chassis and this one so i'll tell you the supra this is the uh, dodge viper by the way with that auto world non magnet uh chassis underneath magnet traction almost and then this is the toyota supra also the magnet this one's uh, supposedly was by by johnny lightning but the chassis says playing mantis so i think uh so johnny lightning put out these uh chassis also the playing mantis chassis but um beautiful cars dodge viper toyota supra they're uh non magnet so we got to be careful how you drive them they will slide off the track they do have some downforce because of exposed magnets but they are beautiful you see it's like uh drifting a little bit beautiful car And they don't have uh, extra magnets, like the extractions and, uh, and the four gears and the Thunderjet Ultra Gs put out by Auto World. They tend to drift a little bit, so you got to really be careful how you drive these. As you can see, it's fairly quick, it handles the curves pretty good. Last lap to the Toyota Supra, the Playing Mantis chassis. Oh, very nice. Excellent. Excellent. And the Dodge Viper with uh, the Auto World non, uh, the Auto World <laughs> non-magnet, extra magnet, non-extraction chassis. This has no extra magnets like the auto worlds of today. So this is an older auto world before they start putting in that extra uh, magnet for the downforce. Keep them on the track. This also you have to be careful as you drive because they drift. Or we also say they fishtail if you take the curbs too fast and they'll slide right out. This slot or just spin out. I'm taking it easy. Beautiful car, this Dodge Viper. The third lap. Fourth lap. Pushing it a little, see how uh, if I don't bump against the rails. Yep, that it happened, folks. In any event, <laughs> yeah, let me let me just uh, help him out a little bit. Put him back on his uh, on the slot, and that's what these rails do. They hit these little uh, connection pegs there, uh, especially if the car is wide. And they bump against it, and instead of uh, keeping the car on the track, they wind up bumping off. So that's why I'm having uh, those replaced with some uh, extensions instead of guardrails. And yeah, here it is, going to do the last lap. I'm going to rip that right through that straight. Oh, boy. Okay, there it goes. It bumped against the guardrail again. So anyway, so you see what I'm talking about. <sighs> ah, 
bother on a chillab in there. Make up. There's some fishtails a little more than the Supra. But it's nonetheless, it's a beautiful car that you really got to be, be careful how you drive. In any event, uh, Familia, I chose a lot of cars it is. Randy Koki. I uh, hope you like this little uh, nun extra magnet from these two uh, magnet traction chassis, really. They're not extractions because there's no extra magnet in them. But they're beautiful nonetheless. That's a Johnny Lightning, and this was an Auto World. Uh, have a good night, Familia. Randy Koki at HS Love Cars it is.